Welcome in everybody. This is actually the first time I get to use my home sports studio and I'm sure I'm going to make a lot of friends with all my Mizzou stuff back here behind me, but we can wait to bicker about that until the fall because right now it's the summer, which means high school baseball and softball and we've got a lot of that to get to, so let's get right to it. How about some other baseball? Let's go to the high school realm now. Valley on the road taking on Lincoln. Every fan at this one having to wear a face mask, that's different, but hey, at least there's baseball. It's more than we could say a month or two ago. Top of the third, Jake Auer. Bates Lincoln off first with runners on the corner. Gets himself in a pickle. Lincoln misplays it. Alex Whitcomb comes home to score. Valley up 1-0. Bottom of the inning. Cooper King. Line drive up the middle. That brings in the tying run. So we're knotted at 1. Lamp Brody, starting pitcher for Lincoln, would settle in. Gets the K to end the fourth. But Valley adds a couple late. They go on to win 3-1. Now over to the softball side. Valley already up 1-0 in the first. Olivia Roosh singles to left. Gianna Lara thrown out at the plate. But that was about the best thing that would happen to Lincoln on the day. Top second now. Madison Miller flares one to left. Valley takes off. They end up rolling 13-3. Up to Ankeny now. Taking on Hoover. This game was 10-0 when I arrived. Sometimes that happens. Cassie Johnson right back where it came from. That makes it 11-0. Some fans out there braving the rain. And then Marina Carter going to finish things off. Dribbler to third. Good enough to bring one home. That makes it 12-0. Run rule. Game over. Moving up now to college baseball. Everybody knows the season was cut short. That includes the draft as well, though. From 40 rounds all the way down to five rounds, which means for hundreds of prospects, that dream went out the window, at least for this summer. I wasn't going to sit here and lie to myself. I knew I probably wasn't a top five player and I'd be kind of later rounds. Um, but yeah, I think it didn't throw all hope out the window, but like, cause just because there always is next year. I'm going to call this my cliche belt. I'm going to start using it every time we hear some sort of cliche that we hear all the time from players and coaches. I think it's going to get a lot of use. Nonetheless, though, next year is always a good motto, especially for the Iowa Hawkeyes, who will return a lot of production from a team that started 10-5 this year with multiple wins over top 25 teams. Now, Martin is here in town, taking place in a college all-stars type tournament. Now, this summer, it's put on by Des Moines Peak Prospects. It's taking place at Principal Park. The first games were actually tonight, and it includes 11 different current Hawkeyes. Um, it's going to be good competition, and they, we have some good arms. We have good players. Like you said, there's 11, 11 Iowa guys and then a handful of other Division One talent, Division Two talent, whatever it is. Um, there's, there's good arms. There's good players. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a fun league to play in. All right, well, that's all the time they give me tonight, which is probably fine. You've probably had enough of me, so don't worry. John Schaefer is back in on Monday evening. But that's going to do it for me. Have a good rest of your Friday night, everybody, and a great weekend.